Hello, linear resolution. That's one strategy you can follow to show that a formula is not satisfiable. So let's say we have this set of clauses. They, of course, are connected with an end. Then it should be known that we can shorten these two to a B because not A and A is like they balance each other out. So this is the basic tool that we have. So the, the problem that remains is um, how do we decide which two do we take and what is the next one? So for example, we took this one and this one and we got the B and what do we do next? Do we do this next or do we do this next? I mean, B would be right balance. The B would balance itself out in both. So which one is the next? Um, or should we do this because the C is balancing each other out? And here is the linear resolution that tells us um, just start everywhere, anywhere, anywhere. So we started just, we just take this as a start. The first two that we have just start there. And the linear resolution tells us that whatever you get as a result is at least one of the terms you use next. So it does not say use this next or this next. It just says use this next. And then I don't know, take the other ones at random. So this means so we just take the next one that is possible. So we just take this one and we get a not C. And because we have the linear resolution, we take this one as one, I don't know, term in this case. And what's next? Let's just take this one because the C is balancing each other, it, each other out. The C's are balancing each other out. So what remains is not B. So you might think, oh, well, we ended with not B and we just does not have anything left. But of course, we can also use these in here. So then we will end up with this one. We use this B and this not B and we will end up in the empty set. What did we do with this? We showed because this is the empty set. We showed that this is a not satisfiable logic formula. Of course, they are connected with an end, right? And what, why is that helpful to show that it's not satisfiable? Imagine that this everything is like an R A, and imagine this is a not B. Then we just showed that this one is true. I'll leave the logic behind this one up to you. We use the logic of inversing, inversion of an argument. I hope that's the correct English. But you can figure out how this and this goes together, how this and this goes together. Yeah, and that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope it helped.